everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm not bringing you on my own. I actually have a special guest. <laughs> it's me and Molly. So today me and Molly are doing the furry friend tag. This is long overdue, but we're gonna do it now, aren't we, for bit? So question number one is, what is your pet's name? This is Molly. Any given opportunity, I will talk about her. <laughs> yeah, when she was a puppy, I think she was called Dolly for like a day. And I think she was gonna be called Dotty, maybe Tilly, I'm not sure. There was like loads of names that were thrown around. But then we settled on Molly Mischief, which is exactly what she is. Question number two is, what breed is she and what animal is she? She is a dog, although she likes to think that she's a giant baby. And she's a Shih Tzu, so she's a Shih Tzu cross poodle. I think her dad was a poodle and her mum was a Shih Tzu, I think. But yeah, she's a Shih Tzu. Question number three is, where did you get her? I thought Nan went to Wales to get her, but turns out she is actually from like one of the villages near us, I think. They were breed, I don't know if they were breeders, but they basically, the dog had puppies. And one of the puppies was Molly. Question number four is, what are some funny quirks about your pet's personality? She has loads. One being, she loves being held like a baby. I don't wanna show you her lady parts, but she loves being held like a baby. Pretty much the day that she was bought back to my Nan's house, she's my Nan's dog. The day that Nan bought her home, she would do her little tutu dance, is what we call it. She would just walk around on her back feet. And I feel like that could potentially be a poodle thing, because I've seen poodles on the internet do that. So I think maybe that's the poodle in her. She's very clever. She picks up new tricks like so quickly. She's oh, She sleeps a lot as well. I feel like I'm gonna have to like lower the camera because she's like not in it. <laughs> Question number five is, what does the relationship between you and your pet mean to you? I love this pet pet, animal, baby, more than I've ever loved anyone or anything ever. Basically, Nan bought her six years ago, maybe, um, and that was when my anxiety sort of like first hit, and it was really bad, and I was in college at the time, and it was just one of the worst parts of my life ever. Um, and Nan bought this dog, and I remember going to Nan's house. I would go into school, put my, uni well, I would put my uniform on in the morning, get ready for school, have a massive meltdown, um, cry, do registration for about 15 minutes, and then be able to come back home again. And it would sort of be like my exposure therapy. And I would go to Nan's house after registration in the morning, and I would just go and see Molly, and I would be sobbing, because my anxiety was just so bad, I didn't want to leave the house hang out with anyone, do anything. And Molly would just be there to lick my tears. And she just, she basically just saved me. If it wasn't for her, I'd just, yeah, I wouldn't have got through with it without, through with it, through it without her. She saved me and she doesn't realize it. Question number six is what are some nicknames that you give your pet? She has so many nicknames. Molly, Molly Minstrel, Molly Moo, Minstrel, Moo Moo, Stinky Moo, Stinky Poos, Stinky Poo Poos, Stinky Winky, um, anything she will answer to anything um one i use on her when she's been naughty is uh excuse me or i go I squeeze me question number seven is how long have you had your pet now we all know that millie loves back to the future but this dog was born on a back to the future day there are so many back to the future days not actually not loads but there are a few back to the future days and molly was born on october 21st but she was two, I was gonna say two days, two years too late, because Back to the Future Day is October 21st, 2015, and she was born 2017. So October 2017 was when she was born. Nan got her, I wanna say like December 20th or 21st, 2017, and she moved in here in May 2022, I think. Question eight is, does your dog know any tricks? Yes, she knows loads. She knows how to sit, lay down, she knows up, is to like jump and like stand on her back feet. She knows how to speak. She knows, I'm teaching her at the minute to wait for her food and she's doing really well with that. It takes like two seconds to teach her. Um, and I'm teaching her to like wait until I put the food on the bowl. On the bowl? In the bowl, on the floor. And then for me to walk away and then she can have it. Um, but yeah, she knows loads of tricks. Not anything too extravagant. She knows to drop the ball when I, I don't know why we've like given it this command, but if I go, give me ta, that's the command for drop. Um, she can bring the post out of the letterbox. That's something we've taught her since she's moved in here. She knows the word snack. I don't know if she'll bat an eyelid when I say it. You want a snack? You want a snack? She knows that word. She knows lots of words. Like you can practically talk to her in like four sentences and she'll understand. She's just a very clever dog. Question number nine is, what is your dog's favorite toy? Now, if you've seen the Freshwater vlogs on my channel from last year, I went to Freshwater and I went into the gift shop and I bought a seagull because 
my favourite bird is a seagull. And I bought a seagull and he's got a bandana on and he's called Steven Seagull because hello Steven Seagull. And I sat him on my bed and Molly started playing with him. So Steven is now Molly's and she loves him. She will like rummage through her toy basket trying to find Steven. She also loves a blue flowery tennis ball that Chad bought her from the pet shop. This dog is just absolutely useless. You're not useless, but you're just sleeping a lot. Question number 10 is, has your pet ever destroyed anything? She doesn't really like destroy things, but she'll eat the post. If it's like a leaflet put through the door, she'll eat it. Any junk mail we just give to the dog to chew up because it takes her mind off of wanting to chew the important stuff that comes through the letterbox. But someone's always here with her, so she doesn't chew anything that she's not supposed to. She doesn't really chew things like shoes or anything. She has loads of toys but she will eat the post. Question 11 is, how would your pet react to an intruder in your house? Now, if someone knocks at the door, she will bark and bark and bark and bark and bark till the door opens, and then she'll just be their friend, like no matter who it is. If we ever got burgled, that's why we've got security cameras, because we don't trust the dog. Question 12 is, what is your dog's favorite treat? Now, she is, her tummy's rumbling now that I said that. She is very fussy with treats and snacks and food and all of that. She loves, is it Winnelot sachets? Like the sachets of meat she loves and it's specifically the chicken flavor is her favorite. Should we put the camera down so we can actually see? Um, what other, is it Baker's? And it's like the chicken and cheese or bacon and cheese sticks. I'll see if I can find them and put them on the screen somewhere. Oh my God, her little tummy. She loves chicken. She loves cat food as well. But other than that, she's really fussy when it comes to food. Like sometimes she'll just be in one of those moods where she'll be like, mmm, food, and she'll eat like a variety of things. Other times you can give her something and she won't eat it. Like the amount of times that we've gone into like a pet shop or a groomer's or something, and the person behind the counter is like, oh, can I give her a treat? And we're like, yeah, she probably won't eat it though. And then they go to give it to her. And she doesn't eat it and they kind of get offended. And I'm like, she doesn't want to eat something, she doesn't have to, but she's literally hanging upside down. I wish you could see her. Question 13, she's ran off. Question 13 is, can your pet swim? Yes, she can. Say, you've got a life jacket, haven't you, for when we go to the seaside. You put your life jacket on so you can go for a swim. And it's got a handle on it. Yes, so Millie can hold you up so you're not on your own. She kind of likes going swimming, but at the same time, she kind of hates it. <laughs> uh, my dog used to love going swimming. Whenever we used to take him, he used to love swimming. Molly is a bit, she's a bit iffy about it, but we're working on that, aren't we? Question 14 is, do you crate your pet? No. I don't know what questions these are. These are just the ones that I found on the internet. But do we create your pet? No. She's never been in a crate. She's, well, she's small and she doesn't molt and she's not aggressive and she doesn't destroy stuff. So she can just do what she wants. She's always had free roam about whatever she wants. Even when she was at Nan's house, like she could get on the bed. As long as she could, when she was a puppy, she could jump on the bed because Nan and Grant's bed was really high up. She had free roam. She could go on the bed. She'd sleep on the bed with them. Um, and she had like a little bed on the floor as well. So she had a choice. Um, and that's what we do here as well. Um, but no, she's never been crated sometimes i agree with crates and sometimes i don't in molly's situation and circumstance she doesn't need one but maybe a bigger more energetic dog i would probably crate train but molly's no fuss like she just sleeps all the time that's her the dog just to it let's wrap this up quick question 15 is what is one negative thing about your pet the toots <laughs> um that she barks a lot that's the only thing that really bugs me about her is that obviously I wouldn't have her any other way and I absolutely love the dog but the barking and it like, it goes straight through you as well it's one of them barks and I'm like ugh and she won't stop it's like she has to have the last word question 16 is does your pet sleep in the bed with you the answer is no because she's not my dog she sleeps downstairs with Nan but on Fridays yeah if Chad had his way no, but sometimes she sneaks up on the bed and she'll have cuddles with me. In the day, she's allowed to come up and have snuggles and everything, but at night time, she will want to sleep downstairs with Nan if Nan's here. Question 17 is, who does your pet love the most? Now, it is Nan, obviously, because she's Nan's dog. She's spent every day with Nan, but I'm a very close second. I like to think I'm a close second, but the more days that go on, I think Chitty's probably her favorite. You love Chitty, don't you? I like to think that I'm your second favorite, but I think Chad probably is, isn't he? Question 18 is, does your pet have a four-legged best friend? Um, um, she has dog friends that are in the family. So my dad's parents' dog, she loves, she gets on really well with. Um, and also the dog that Nan had when she also had Molly. So when Nan lived in her house with Grampy, she had two dogs, Molly, and another dog called Bob. But Bob is too big and he molts a lot. Um, so we couldn't live here because my dad has asthma, blah, blah, blah. He has to go and live with my mum's brother. I was gonna say my mum's uncle. My uncle, my mum's brother. So whenever she goes over there, it's like, that's her brother but they also have two other dogs as well, so 
It's like she's got a trio over there that she's... No, that would make it a quad, wouldn't it, if she was part of it? But they've got three dogs, and she goes over and socialises with them, and she also has Dexter. Question 19 is, do you dress up your pet? Yes, not excessively and not all the time, but to my birthday party, she came and she wore a bandana. She wears... She's got, like, a Christmas jumper for when it gets, like, cold and it's winter. She's got a Christmas jumper. She wears a harness. Um, and it's not just like a rope, it's got like padded like pads on it, so she wears that. She's got a winter coat, and we play like funny dress up things with her, so I put my glasses on her the other day. If I've got any pictures, I'll insert them. I'm, I've definitely got some. But she's got like jumpers and bits, and they're not so much dressing up to do like funny like and make it funny it's more to keep her warm um and she's really good about it like we went to um a shop the other day and we were looking at like leg warmers and stuff and i was like no that's a bit like that's like stupid it's getting to that point where it's like stupid it's not like serving a purpose but yeah she has little things one thing that she really loves is when i'm driving along she's got a harness on in the car and everything she's safe I wouldn't do anything to endanger her but she sticks her head out the window and she loves when the window's open but I was thinking, and she's cleaning herself in a minute. I was thinking, you know when dogs fall on the back of a motorbike and they have like helmets and visors? I should get her a pair of like goggles that so she can look and see everything. Because usually just mock me. Usually just all of her fluff is just in her eyes. Come here! Usually all of her fluff is just in her eyes and she can't see anything. So I'm like, imagine looking out the window and actually being able to see what everyone else can see out the window. I don't know how you would feel while wearing goggles. Question 20 is the last one and it is, if you could get another pet, what would you get and why? Now, as much as I would love another dog, like, because I don't think Molly's going to be staying here forever. I think she's going to move out with Nan um, and that those two are going to live together. We don't have Alfie anymore. When Molly moved in, we had Alfie. So it was like we had two dogs for a while and it was really fun. Now we have one, just Molly. And then if she moves out, we're going to have zero. So I would love a golden retriever. I've always wanted one. I think they're just, when you think a family dog, you either think a spaniel or a golden retriever. And I would love a golden retriever. They molt like mad. But I think if you were in the habit of like brushing them and walking them and bathing them, there's nothing you couldn't handle and hoovering. I feel like we need like a rumba if we had a golden retriever. But yeah, I really want a golden retriever. I want a tortoise as well. Like this is undog related. I want a tortoise. My nan and bamp have a tortoise, my dad's parents. And he's like over a hundred, like human years old. And he's just so cool. I said to Nanny and Bappy, I was like, I love a tortoise. And they were like, you need a lawn. Cause they eat a lot of grass. I was like, that's true, we got rid of our lawn, so no tortoise for Millie. I was thinking about another hamster, but then I was like, no, because my hamster was so cute. They wouldn't even come close. Like, I love my hamster so much, it was my baby. They wouldn't even come close, because I see all these horror stories about hamsters biting and everything. My hamster never bit me, ever. And I would do all kinds of things with him. Yeah, I miss my little hamster. I'm not in a hurry to buy a cat. We have two, like, they're good, that I love them, they're cute but I'm not in a hurry to buy another cat. So, another dog, yes. I would like my own dog as sort of a therapy dog because I feel like that would just cure everything. My partner said that. He was like, if you had a dog, a reason to get up, a reason to feed it, and it was like your dog. If it was a family dog, you could think, oh, mum and dad will do it, Daisy will do it, blah, blah, blah. But if it was my dog, I would have to get up and feed it and let it out for a week. And I would have to walk in. I would have to do this. So it gets me up out of bed and moving and thinking about something else rather than my anxiety. I love how this has just gone off on a massive tangent about me talking about other dogs. And this is supposed to be about Molly. So I think that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and oh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Watch this trick. Molly Piggy. Come on, Piggy. Oh, you're so funny. Okay. <laughs>